Hey everyone, welcome to the Deity Tech Series. My name's Angel, and I'm going to be working with you to get your Deity components installed properly and functioning optimally. We're going to explore everything from simple grip installation on through to more complex procedures like pedal maintenance and everywhere in between. Today we're going to go over the best method to cut your new set of handlebars down to your preferred width. This is a job that requires some increased attention to detail and patience since bars aren't cheap and there's no going back once you get started, so preparation is key. Most mountain bike handlebars will come in either aluminum or carbon, and there are a few differences in tools and methods which we'll discuss along the way. If your bars are already installed on your bike, you'll simply want to make sure the bike is held securely in an upright position with the front wheel supported. This is a good point to make note of the position of your grips, brake levers, shifters, and any other accessories mounted on your bars before you uninstall your grips and move your controls safely out of the way. A picture is a great way to keep a record of this. If you've just gotten your bars out of the package and already know the width you'd like to cut them down to, find a secure method of holding the bar without damaging them, such as a bike stand clamp, or get them securely installed onto your bike. When clamping your bars in anything other than your stem, be sure to use a fresh shop towel or something similar that will protect the finish of the bar and ensure you don't over tighten the clamp, damaging the bar. Now, whether you're cutting carbon or aluminum, we suggest having the appropriate safety gear, like a set of safety glasses, gloves, and a mask to avoid inhaling any of the dust and particulate. Let's go over some of the tools we recommend using to complete this job. A hacksaw with either a 24 tooth blade for aluminum bars or a carbon specific blade designed to smoothly cut through carbon fiber. An appropriate cutting guide, if available, masking or painter's tape to keep cosmetic blemishes to a minimum and allow you to mark the cut clearly. A measuring tape or ruler and marker to measure and mark your cut accurately. We'll get started by applying some tape to the area where we plan on cutting. And then measure and mark the amount we plan on removing. So if you want to make your bars 40 millimeters narrower, you'll want to make a mark at 20 millimeters from the end of the bar on each side. Now line up and secure your cutting guide to the appropriate mark on your bar. And if you have a guide like ours with two slots, choose the appropriate one for your blade. Make sure not to over tighten the guide and damage your bar. Remember, there's no going back once your bars are cut. So make sure that you have the room for all your controls and grips once the bar is cut and that you're within the manufacturer's recommendations. Measure twice, cut once. After double checking everything is accurate, secure, and aligned, and you're wearing the appropriate safety equipment, go ahead and start your cut. We suggest starting with a backwards motion to score the bar for a nice clean cut. Continue cutting with a consistent, smooth motion, and as you come to the bottom of the cut, change to a shorter motion, so you end up with less of a burr at the end. At this point, whether you're cutting carbon or aluminum, we suggest using a shop vacuum to clean up dust and debris. Remove the guide and the tape, pulling the tape towards the end of the bar and inspect the end of the bar, but be careful as there may be some sharp edges. If you have aluminum bars, use a fine tooth file or a deburring tool to clean up around the edge of the cut, so you end up with a safe and smooth edge. If you have a carbon bar, we suggest using some sandpaper or emery cloth to smooth out the edges of the cut to avoid snagging or fraying. You're all good to go on this side, so now you'll just repeat the process on the other side, ensuring you're still following all the safety guidelines and cleaning up properly to avoid contact with any of the carbon or aluminum debris. If you still have any other questions regarding the proper technique to cut your aluminum or carbon handlebars, or don't have some of the tools and equipment recommended, you can always reach out to me directly at tech at deitycomponents.com and we'll get you taken care of. Thanks again for joining us and supporting a ride-around company. We'll see you next time.